friends welcome to another episode of ak stake show in this video i am gonna show you how to make a massive 32000 mah capacity power bank at your home from old scrap laptop batteries which can charge your phone and electronic devices up to six times not only this you can increase the whole power backup by simply adding more batteries with it so without wasting any more time let's get started to make this kind of power bank first you need some old laptop batteries which are in good condition obviously or you can buy them new here i managed to collect 16 old batteries with 2000 mh capacity of each so my power bank will have a capacity of 16 into 2000 mh that's equal to 32000 mh as you have might know that the battery backup depends upon the number of cell you are adding with it. After that you need a power bank circuit which will be available in local or online electronics market or you can use your old power bank circuit as well. To wrap up the whole things in a particular enclosure you just need this kind of plastic box available in the electrical shop nearby your places. And when it comes to charge your battery pack, then you should remember one thing that you have added extra batteries to increase your backup time. So it's not a good idea to put the charging cable to the power bank circuit because it limited to deliver only few amps of current. So we need this kind of DC jack which will allow you to charge your batteries from external power supply with a larger current capacity by disconnecting the power bank circuit from battery pack at the same time so that your power bank circuit wouldn't get damaged by external power supplies. Now I will place the power bank circuit at the top cover of the plastic enclosure like this way. For that purpose I just managed to cut hole for its USB plug but not for the charging port as I am not gonna use that. You may ask why? Because if I use the port then it will took 26 to 32 hours for full the battery pack up and also there will be a chance that circuit may get burned as the capacity of the battery is increased than previous. For properly placing the circuit I just put some double sided tape underneath the circuit board and place it firmly by the help of these two screws. As you can see here, I drilled 5 holes. The top one is to power on the power bank and the last 4 are to see the available battery percentage through the LEDs fitted on the circuit board. At the time of soldering of this DC jack, one thing you have to keep in mind that which wire will connect where and for that reason here I have used the wire of 3 different color code for easy to remember the connections. The white one is for negative or B- minus terminal which will also connect the negative terminal of power bank circuit. After that the red one is used for charging the battery pack or B positive terminal and the final one blue wire is for power bank circuits positive terminal. To avoid short circuiting and the failure of the whole power bank a bit of heat sinking tube is very much necessary. Now it's time for soldering the battery pack all together. Before soldering one most important thing you should maintain correctly is the battery polarity. As lithium ion batteries are very dangerous and could cause explosion. For that purpose previously I completed all those steps and make pack of 6 cells in a pack as per my box dimension otherwise it wouldn't fit inside my box as most of all power bank circuits needed only maximum of 4.2 volt to minimum of 2.8 volt so here i am just connecting positive terminal of all cells to each other in parallel combination red wire 
which will also connect charging jacks red wire as well. If you have more batteries and want more power then you can add it them together in the same method that means in parallel combination. And in the same way as above here I am adding all the self negative terminal together with white wire which will connect to charges jacks negative and power bank circuit negative as well. To prevent the batteries slippage from their positions and causing any short circuit here I just put some double sided tape for proper placement and better grip of the batteries. While placing the battery pack inside the enclosure do it very cautiously and patiently as it can causes short circuiting and disordered all of your wires as well which can bring a lot of problem to your circuitry. After placing the battery pack do all the remaining necessary wiring. Last and most important connection is to solder the negative and positive terminal to the power bank circuit. And that being done my extra capacity power bank is now completely ready. Now it's time for cover up the box and make a test. But before that it should be checked last time that all the wires and the batteries are properly placed. If anything found misplaced then place it before tighten the final cover. So let's make a test. Wow, finally my power bank starts working and it's awesome. All the indicator lights have lit up and as you can see it starts charging my phone without any problem. So if you guys like it then thumbs it up, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.